Good morning, viewers. Five seconds. As in the previous years, this year also, we all have gathered to unfurl the national flag and reaffirm our respect and faith in it. But this year, there is one thing new, not only the people assembled here are able to see me, but people in thousands of villages spread over in several states in the country are able to participate along with us in today's historic function. They are also able to witness this historic occasion and hear whatever is happening. Something extraordinary has happened not only in the history of India, but perhaps also in the history of the entire world when rural programs have been started through the satellite at a time when television has not covered completely even the cities. For this achievement, we are grateful to our young and talented scientists whose work and labor have enabled India to take a big jump towards progress. Similarly, during this year, our scientists have reached another great height when they launched a satellite in space. You all have heard about the satellite Aryabhata. All this is indication of the nation's progress. We have unfurled the flag here today and we respect so every year because it represents our design cherished since pre-independence days to unfurl free India's flag on the ramparts of the Red Fort. An opposition leader once remarked, what was this flag except a mere piece of cloth? Certainly, this is a piece of cloth, but one for which thousands of freedom fighters had sacrificed their lives. For this same piece of cloth, our brave soldiers painted the Himalayan snow with their blood. This piece of cloth is a sign of the unity and strength of India. It is because of this strength we respect this piece of cloth and always keep it high. We shall never allow it to dip low and every Indian, high or low, man or woman, young or old, our child has to remember this always. This is a piece of cloth, all right, but it is dearer to everyone than our lives. Like the insult about the national flag, misunderstanding was also created recently about our independence. Freedom is not a magic which can independently eradicate poverty and remove our difficulties. Independence only opens a door which removes the stagnation of centuries. That is all that 
independence means. Independence doesn't mean the license to organize whatever we may desire to do. Rather, it offers everybody an opportunity to perform our duty. Independence doesn't merely mean a government by Indians. It means that government should be capable of taking independent decisions boldly. It must also mean that such courageous government should be capable of thinking independently in the interest of the country as well as in the interest of world peace. All this together would be independence. We became independent not to destroy whatever we had or violate our cherished ideals, but because we had to help the people who had remained oppressed for centuries and also because we had to fight against evils that had spread and were responsible for our backwardness. We must dispense with these evils and uplift the country to progress. It was for this reason our great leaders guided us and opened the door of independence. Since we became independent, much has happened in the country and we have made a lot of progress. My dear brother, it has been my desire that you should continue your high school course in a hostel. Accordingly, I have made arrangements for you to stay in a hostel. It is rather costly for me, but I shall meet the extra burden to see that you are comfortable there and also in the best surroundings. The system followed there and the teachers in charge are of the best and nothing but good will follow. If you spend your time rightly, you will turn out very well and get the highest education for which you richly deserve. I hope you will work hard and will not hesitate to consult your teachers in case of any difficulty. I assure you that this letter is written to impress on you a great truth. It is often at school that lifelong friendships are made. Lifelong friendships may be advantageous if the friends chosen happen to be of very good type, but if a friendship is made with undesirable persons, then the hopes are smashed and there is no future at all. I would therefore impress upon you the great importance of choosing your friends carefully because if once friendship is made and contact established it would be difficult later to cut them off. I hope that you will follow my advice. I am sorry for my delay 
in replying to your latest letter due to several other pressing problems. Yours affectionately.